Hey, my pretties. Welcome back. We are in Nordstrom's Rack. I haven't been in here in a while. Um, but the first thing that I stopped to look at were the purses. This one was $2.29. It's Marc Jacobs. I really like the detail on the front of that one. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to roam around and take a look since it's been a little minute. This bag, $199.97. <laughs> uh, and then this one right here, I like the colors on this. It was $2.29. So all of these were the Marc Jacobs um, bags. This cute little bucket bag, which was leather. I like the chunky chain on that one. Uh, it was small and simple, but it was really cute for $209.97. Valentino over here. Most of these I feel like I've seen um, in many different places, like TJ Maxx. You had this one right here with the studs for $4.99. Very pretty. This bag, love the color and the chains on all of those were really nice. That one was also $4.99.97. And the backpack, I actually considered purchasing this before. The Sherpa backpack, I like the way it looks. It was like a dark charcoal gray for $130. I'm gonna just round up $130. $169, well, didn't I say round up? $170 <laughs> for this Marc Jacobs with the lock and uh, key on this one. So it came in that black and brown right there. So you have the little key. Uh, this was also Marc Jacobs. I like the fuchsia color on that one this is the same color but just a different style for 220 that one also came in blue and green the Tory Burch uh, table this one was cute with the double zippers and it had the Sherpa around it for 280 kind of cute I do like me some Tory Burch especially her sandals this one looked like it was for summer And then you have this one over here for $280. Kind of small, but cute. And this print back here, I really like the flowers on that one and the purples. That was very pretty. Okay, this sort of looks like cheetah print. It is $350. Very nice. And this chocolate brown, I absolutely love it. Wasn't too big on the stripes. I like the chocolate tassel. I call everything brown chocolate. <laughs> 430. I did like the colors on that. I just wasn't too big on the stripes for some reason. Uh, that one right there, the multicolor bag with the two compartments on the inside, 320. It was kind of small, but it was nice. And then you have this one. It had that puffy kind of feel to that one. And then there was a, a few wallets. Now this one right here, I really like. I love the color, the gray. It was like Sherpa. It was just really nice. Uh, 350. It retailed though for 700. So I like that one. Uh, the purple Tory Burch bag, and then you had a few little crossbody bags down here. That one with the flowers. This pretty green right here. It is um, 240. I like the color and this one with the little straw bottom and the top was brown 265 I like the colors on this one it just made me think of summer as well and that one was 250 mm, uh, who is this Kurt Geiger right here I like the color that one was a hundred. It was ninety nine ninety seven. They also had the black one back here. So I was basically just kind of, you know, zipping through all the bags. This Kita backpack by All Saints. I like the color on it. It was very, very soft, and the strap on it was nice. I like that, like kind of like braided detail. And here's one of my favorite brands, MCM. And so you have that one, and it was. 357 with the 55% savings. Uh, 190 for the Furla bag. And you have that one. That orange is so pretty. And this one was, I think it was Rebecca Minkoff. I love the color. However, I could not find 
a tag on any of the bags that look like that I was trying to check for all of them that one was a little bigger very pretty color but couldn't find a price another Rebecca mink off right here this kind of looks like my Dooney and Burke bag that I carry um, that one was 170 I like that one as well and then this one but I think I would go with the brown Kate Spade table this one reminded me like of a, a Christmas print so 150 and then you have this one a little wallet and then you had a cute little pink tote bag as well as this one right here and that one is $90 Now, I know I don't need to be looking at flip-flops, but I love that icy blue. Those are 20, and that's one of my favorite brands of flip-flops, the Havanas. So that's why I was peeking at them. I didn't pick them up, but I wanted to. They have some Doc Martens in that blue. Here's some Ugg boots with the cheetah print. Uh, they were, I think those were 99, if I'm not mistaken. And then Sam Edelman right here for 80. I thought they were kind of groovy. <laughs> they made me think of um, like uh, Brady Bunch. Here's some more Ugg boots. And then here's some sequin Ugg boots right here with the really thick bottom like platform. I wasn't too fond of the bottom of those. They made me think of Frankenstein boots. Those were $80. I just didn't like this, the shape, well, the style of those, but I did like the sequins. So they did have a lot of cute boots, some cute little pink Birkenstocks. Um, there's so many shoes here. I would have been here all day. So I just scanned through them. I did see these right here. They're selling them for, what did that say, 100? And I know that I've seen those at Ross for probably like 30 to $40. Um, so that's why we walk around and look in different stores to get some deals. Uh, those were cute. The little Ugg boots with the bow in the back. These are 60 little green boots. Some more Uggs. And these right here, I absolutely love those. $85. I was looking at those when they were on the Macy's website probably a few months back, and I considered getting them. They didn't have my size, or I would have probably picked those up. I really like those. They would be cute with some jeans. Now, these right here, Steve Madden, um, $90. I like the black leather on the toe and then the suede and then these are Valentino tennis shoes um what did that say 260 260 I think they're pretty nice I'm not too big on the Valentino tennis shoes some of them are cool I thought these were pretty cool some more Doc Martens and these cute little pink boots right here Sam Edelman and those are also $80 Uh, I headed over here. I started making my way to the other side of the store. So I was looking at a few jackets. I like this trench right here. Um, that's really, really nice. Thought it was cool. And then they had, like I said, lots and lots of jackets, puffer vests. These are Michael Kors over here. I like the neck on this one. The black patch on the arm. Uh, this one, $90. And this right here, Rebecca Minkoff, I absolutely love. I love that brown jacket. I know I don't need it. I wouldn't have nowhere to wear this to. Um, I already have a jacket sort of like this. So I was like, yeah, you don't need this. It was $160, but you guys, let me tell you, that is one I probably would have picked up. <laughs> I like that. And it also came in this gray. And this little moto style jacket by Walter Baker. I like the color on that one. And here's another Rebecca Minkoff. See the blue jacket that I have is sort of like this, but this one is a moto style with the leather and the fur. I thought that was pretty. And I wasn't too, you know, uh, opposed to this green. I'm not big on green jackets, but I like that one. I kind of like that one, 150. It's a pretty green, kind of like an emerald. Here's some of the little shiny tops and stuff and some earrings over here in the middle of the clothing section. 
this little two-piece sequin with the ruffles on the arm I thought that was really nice the skirt was like a pencil skirt so it was really pretty caught my attention and over here they have the long puffer style Nike jacket in pink I was trying to fix it I was like okay why is it falling off but then I put it up on one side and it fell off the other side I said I'm gonna leave that alone let me leave it alone but I did see another one over here so they have pink and they have the cream color and these are 180 retail for 305 I remember when those came out they was pretty popular so then I made my way over to the home decor section to see what they have for Christmas they have this cute little present right here little ceramic little cookie jar type deal for $19.97 and they had this canister up here. All roads lead home for Christmas and that was $10. They had a few things out. I was hoping to spot anything that had to do with gingerbread, something different, but there wasn't anything, which I need to stop looking at gingerbread stuff anyway, but that's a whole nother, a whole nother video we'll, we'll get to pretty soon. <laughs> some glass uh, candlesticks and all of that and all these different colors that purple was pretty those are ten dollars but that's those are really really thin like the glass is so thin that they just make me nervous uh, but these blue trees down here very pretty they have the blue purple um, oil slick type look to those I love them different shades of green and then you have these little uh, trees up here for 15 in the cute little sack with the peppermint here's some towels over here and a few of the um cookie uh cookie uh molds and i couldn't think of what i was trying to say cookie molds and some cups There's this uh, set right here, these snowflake cups. Oh my goodness, they were so pretty. I almost picked those up. The The snowflake, those are only 13. The snowflake was real thick like a brooch. It was so pretty. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I should have grabbed those, but I didn't need them. You had this uh, jar and then these up here. So they had a few things. Uh, they had a few, that one is pretty too with the marble look. Uh, that one was $20. They had a few throw blankets right here. Not too many. I like that one. And this one I thought was really cute because it looks like there's a bunch of stamps, like Christmas stamps. There's the gingerbread. That's the only thing gingerbread I saw. And the falala. Bobble bar earrings. They had a lot. They had a lot of those. And then they also had some made well earrings that we're about to look at which i love uh the made well brand very nice here's some more bobble bar over here and i'm not familiar with this brand but the earrings were really pretty i like those little pink trees and those would be cute for 17 dollars for like you know a new year's date or something <laughs> Then you have these right here and some of the holiday ones, bobble bar. Philosophy candy cane. Um, I was trying to remember how much they were. They're 15 here. I couldn't remember how much we seen them for at um, Cinnamon Sugared Apples at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So if you remember, let me know down in the comment section. At this moment, I can't remember if they're cheaper here or in TJ Maxx. They did have this Bubble Blizzard set with the different uh, seasonal uh, fragrances for $23. And then you had these over here. So they had a lot of philosophy and some more little sets. makeup erasers $11 and the almond shower oil right here 
which I wanted to try, but I didn't want to experiment, is $27. So if you've used that brand and, and tried that shower oil, let me know because I'm considering picking that up. Um, then they had some of their perfume sets over here, $70 for the Daisy. They have a few different ones. Uh, they had Chloe. The Chloe right there. And then there was some pink sugar. This is red velvet and it smells so good. Pink sugar always smells really good. Uh, that one, that set was $30. And then they have the pink one back here, the Candy Dream. So after I'm done looking at this table, you guys, I am actually going to get out of here. I just wanted to do a quick little walkthrough. Ooh, here's some Isi Miyake. That is one of my favorite uh, brands. Smells so good. But I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick walkthrough of Nordstrom's Rack. Um, that one was 90. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm still trying to look, but thank you for watching and I'll see you guys real soon in my next video. Okay. Bye you guys.